Tuesdays we do sit down and we talk about books and I'm holding a, a beautiful book um, with me. It's called Play Nodo and Count add and subtract this book is written by tatenda emma matika and it's looking very interesting if i might say and i'm joined in the studio by audrey chilenja audrey good morning my love good morning maris how are you today very well thank you how's your tuesday going awesome tuesday <laughs> choose to be awesome tuesday so we have this book um play nodo and count add and subtract what is this book about does look like a long read, but looks very mathematical, I must say. Yes, um, and no surprises there because our author is a data scientist. I see. Yes, so I had to actually go and Google, you know, I found it very fascinating. What does a data scientist do? So it says here, uh, they collect uh, data mm -hmm. from a multitude of different data sources, organize the information and then translate it into solutions for business and just life in general. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she's taken that not just for the business, older people, but for the kids as well. She has done that. And I must commend her because she's based in Dusseldorf in Germany. I see. And then now she's over there, but she's embracing her roots. She wrote a book about Nodo. Uh -huh. Marisa, did you used to play Nodo when you were growing up? <laughs> I think when I was so young, at the end of the day, but I ended up But it was really never my thing. I think maybe because it's like a mathematical thing. I didn't really enjoy maths. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, trying to concentrate throwing the stone and putting it back and counting. Whew, that's a lot of brain work, that. It is. And that's <laughs> how come this book is about addition, subtracting, and all mm -hmm. that. And I learned one fascinating word. I never used to play a lot of Nodo as well, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I was more into marbles, yeah. uh, fish, fish, sweetie, and pada. pada. Yeah. yeah. But then, you know, that thing that you throw in the air is called muboga. I, <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, because I'm looking at the definition right here of Nodo. It says, a game where a player throws a stone called Muboga into the air, takes out some stones from a circle, then catches the Muboga. So that's like you throw it, take out stones, catch it. Okay, brain work. And uh, using the same hand, so you can't switch hands. Then the player throws the Muboga into the air again and pushes the stones back into the circle, leaving only one stone outside the circle. Exactly. So the concept here is... Um, what you, you oh, I, I'm getting confused. Yeah, so it's like I think you start with the ones, so you throw and then you do one, uh -huh. and then you do two, three, and all of that. Oh, okay, you throw the put them all back again, and then next time it's two, yes, next time it's three, yes, and then <laughs> when your muboga lands on the ground, you're out, your partner has to take over, take now. a turn, yes. So in the book, she uses this illustration of her friend, uh, Ropa and Nene. Mm -hmm. So one of them knows how to play Nodo. And then the other one doesn't. And then she's introducing how to do it and teaching her. And I think this is a very fascinating read for, I think this should even be introduced at the schools, you know, because yeah. these kids now, you know, they're born with tablets in their hands. Exactly. They don't yeah. know this game. They don't. Oh, it's such a shame. Isn't they it? don't want to even go outside, you know. <laughs> so this, they could actually play, you know, anyway, they can do this. That is, this is, you know, and it's also subtraction because the, you also have to do the subtraction reverse. Yes, so it's counting, addition, and subtraction. Okay. Uh, so tell us about um, the author of the book. Okay, so like I say, she's based in uh, Germany. Uh, she's got a master's in, um, what, mathematics. Uh, yeah, mathematical science, you know. So mm -hmm. she's, a, she's a genius, you know, one of those geniuses. Uh, she loves to share and explore such applications. This book is a result of merging her interest in everyday math and African games. So like you said, we commend you that you're on the other side of the continent, but you're still embracing your roots and embracing your culture and then teaching it to other people as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just incredible. And it also has a, a part where you can actually fill out, you can actually, it's like a, a, a manual. Yes. Okay. An exercise An after exercise, that. Yes. Yeah. And then you can practice and you can, she left out the little boxes where you can now put in your answers. Your numbers and yes. things like that. And then um, she, the next book she's highlighting what she's, she's going to write about. Yes. I, f I found that interesting as well. <laughs> and I'm very encouraged that she's bringing a book to, uh, she's going to introduce another character. So it says join Ropa, Nene and Siwo as they play a Here. new game in the next book. So I don't know if it's uh, with the ball, is it? So it, I don't know what it is. Raga Raga or Maflau, one of those ball games. <laughs> well, you have to, I, I don't know if you can zoom into this or if you can see what the last game is um, here. Uh, 
TD, if you can just, you know, zoom into this, I don't know. That game where the ball, Kurovana Nepal, what is yes. that game called? So there's, there's Raka Raka. All I know is, yeah, no. no yeah. That's, that's the... Maflau. Mafla. <laughs> <laughs> that's Maflau. And this is the introduction of the third. You see, it's all mathematical here. And then the introduction of her friend with the next book. And it's actually quite rich because it's talking to us about the things that we, like you said, she's bringing out the things that we used to do with Dada. Yes. Instead of just playing indoors. Yes. And it's not even just an African cultural thing. She's introducing it as well to uh, the Western world. Yes. That they can also partake. Yes. in these games as well. So every parent must buy this book because your kids, I'm sure they don't know. We can't be just doing Peppa Pig. We need to be doing <laughs> our own books with our own it's customs brilliant. and our own games. And it's $10, mm -hmm. chete chete, at Lifestyle Bookstores. That, that's at Eastgate. And then it's also available on Amazon. Mm, that's incredible. And uh, what is her social media handles? Social media handles, uh, TikTok, it's Gogs Matika. Then YouTube, Tatenda Emma, LinkedIn, Tatema Emma Matika. And guess what? Mm -hmm. I actually found her on LinkedIn. Oh, yeah? A couple of months ago, and I went to her inbox. I'm like, wow, I, I saw this picture of your book. Would you like us to review it? Because wow. I found it very interesting. Yeah. And I went through her profile, and, you know, she's a fundi. But then she's also an artist. So I found that very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. So, I mean, what, what is the uh, a lesson or maybe a quote that you can... Talk can you give us talk about in this book? Okay, let's talk about a quote. Um, to all the young minds, may they embrace the richness of traditional games and uncover the educational treasures they hold. This is so profound. Mm -hmm. Let's just not be quoting, you know, Martin Luther King. We've got our own here. Tatenda Emma Matika with a very powerful quote wow. here. Wow, and she's really leaving that for the, for the next generation. Yes. I guess kind of encouraging them that it is fun to study, literally. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can make it a game. Yes. <laughs> That's good. And obviously the lessons that we, we bring out in this book is uh, mathematics. Mathematics and then also embracing the African culture and games mm -hmm. into maths, into our everyday life. Because addition, counting, subtraction is part of our everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. And these days you have to add and subtract your uh, in the supermarket. My sense I'm going to Yes. You know. So that's very good. Uh, thank you so much, Audrey, for um, kind of highlighting this book. Just one more time, where do we find it again and how much is it? It's at Lifestyle Bookstores. Uh, the shop is at Eastgate Complex mm -hmm. and it's $10. Chete, chete, chete. $10. Chete, chete, guys. This is a book to get. This is a book to also introduce uh, your kids. If you have those kids who are always on their tabs, always on their phones, this is a book to kind of introduce them to, just to bring them uh, to remember Remember the younger days, your yes. younger days, and what you used to do. In fact, it'd be fun for you as an adult to also go out there. I'm actually and, and gonna. Play. I'm actually gonna try it. <laughs> I, I'm actually gonna try it with my little yeah. ones. Yeah, I want to see how to balance the book. The, exactly, so that we just—it's never too late to learn, right? Never. <laughs> Excellent. Konapo, konapo. Ipa po ipa po pa ZTN Prime DSTV Channel Two Nine Four, the place to be.